Hi planner friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy and you're watching Little Star Plans. Today's video we will be doing a DIY project and this is going to be all about my sticker book divider for my sticker collection. I have created a video on like my sticker storage and you feel free to check that out. So we, I have like three different systems that I store my stickers. But today we'll be focusing on the ring, much more portable when you go into on the go, you can just carry this and you can definitely like flip through what stickers you want to use in your planners. But I still find a little bit unorganized and I'm going to change it up um, the way how it looks. Right now it does, it is missing a cover. So I plan on adding a cover and new dividers. And I, it's my first time making it, so I don't know how it'll turn out. I think I might have to revise it maybe down the road, but this is what it looks like so far. So I have like these currently, these um, Avery tabs, which you can get anywhere, like on Amazon or the website and you just stick on and so I have uh, functional, uh, emotion, house, note that, and work. But um, later on, as I have more collection, I'm going to add more tabs. But this is what I have so far, my most frequently used stickers. Let's show you some of my supplies. So right now I have this ring, the ring that you can like go through your paper. <laughs> And next I have journaling card and basically it's a thank you card that every time you make a purchase on my website, you will get this card, super duper cute. I plan on using this as my front cover, my front sticker book. And so it'll be like this and then I'm going to cut it in size. So I'm going to cut underneath therapy and then trim on the left and the right. After that, I plan on laminating this, then it'll be much more sturdier. It won't like damage as easily. Next, I have these kind of, kind of like semi pre-cut dividers, which I use the machine to kind of cut through, or you can use scissor to cut the size that you want. Laminator sheets, I don't know how it would really turn out because it's very flimsy, it's very inaccurate. When you like cut one sheet, the other sheet may, the bottom sheet may not, um, cut the right size. So I don't know. I'm just giving it a try to see if this works. If it does, I'll, but I still couldn't find the right type of like material to turn it into a dividers yet. So if you guys have any suggestion, feel free to let me know. If you guys know where I can get like a sturdier, like, like material that I can turn into a divider kind of cut out. So it looks like this. Um, so after we cut it out, you're going to put it together. Make sure there's no like dust. I noticed that laminar sheets tends to collect dust so easily. I don't know how to get rid of that. <laughs> so this is what it look like. And then after that, I'll go. It will go through my laminator uh, machine. Okay, so let's cut out the sheets first. Sheets. So I'm trying my best. I think this is the one of the struggle when you do hand cutting. So you try your best to be as accurate as possible, but sometimes you can't be always straight when you cut off. So this will look like, so there's these two sheets. We're done. This is kind of like, well, I mean, like it's kind of like messed up already. So I'm gonna cut this part. I try to cut these two together. They were actually, um, yeah, together. And then when I try to cut it, it's like, one of the sheets shifted to one side, so it was kind of annoying. <laughs> Another question for you guys, have you guys ever um, done a Instagram live before? I'm always curious about, actually no, I have done a few times on Instagram live, but I don't know. I feel like don't feel confident going on Instagram live simply because I don't know how many people will be attending. It'll be kind of fun. I think it'll be fun to have people joining in live and showing you how I do some crafts or like sticker decoration, whatnot. But is that something you guys would be interested in? <laughs> do you guys say go on like Instagram live and participate? Okay, so these are done. Now I have this sheet. I hope they are the same. Okay, my laminator machine here. And so what we do is that we'll feed our sheets that we just cut out, slide into the back. I'm assuming most of the laminator has that. And then slide in. 
and we'll do the same for other sides. Just make sure that there's no dust. They do attract a lot of dust and and random stuff. So just kind of wipe it down quickly. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around and feed it in again. So I'm gonna feed this second sheet to the right hand side and I'll do another one. Brand new sheet. Make sure they're clean. I think they're pretty good so far. Okay, let's feed that in to the left. And I'll feed it on the side. They are quite fragile right now, so make sure that they're flat. They're not bending during this process. So we do again. Okay, so now the sheets are laminated. It looks like this. It's very pretty clear. The only downfall of you, I don't think you can see it on camera, but I do see dust and this sort of bothers me. Um, but that's okay. I'm gonna use that as a divider so I won't be able to see it when, uh, when my sheets, sticker sheets are covered up. So this is what it looks like. All three sheets are done. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to use a hole puncher and hole punch the the left corner, that's what you want to do. Next, once you have all the laminated sheets have been laminated, what you want to do is grab a hole puncher. Any hole puncher will be fine. The handle hole puncher will be good too. But I have this only um, smaller hole punch, so I'm gonna place it in there and hole punch from there. I also have my washi dashboard. I'll be using this as a main cover for my sticker storage. I made a video on how to make a washi dashboard Feel free to watch my previous videos to show you how you do this. And I'll also link it in the description below if you're interested as well. The hole punches too as well. few more and ta-da it's done so now you can close it so it looks like this get this like ring through it i want to the work to be the front because i use the stickers all the time for work related and i forgot my cover so let's put that in and we're gonna use work i'm gonna leave work like that with this tab and for home i'm going to add a new divider with the ones that we just made, the, the laminator sheets, remove the tabs and I'll stick it on my laminator sheets just like that. Very easy. You can always remove it. If your category changed, you can always remove it and change it to a different thing. Next, I'm going to change it for note that. So anything notes related or reminder, this will be the section. And I'll tag that too. Maybe you just make it a little bit lower so that you can see the other tab. Let me close it. Next, I'll do functional. And I think this is the last laminate sheets I have. And if I like it, I'll keep on making more laminate sheets. And this is it. This is my sticker collection with my order journaling card that you receive every order and I turn into washi dashboard, dashboard too. But now it's called washi cover, whatever you would like to call it. And that's about it. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try my best to answer my best ability. And if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye friends!